what else are we doing wrong as not just as managers i'm talking as an industry right so we have like this people talk about this education thing for me this education thing was something that came out of necessity one i couldn't find staff to hire two i just felt like i didn't like i remember talking to my lawyers and they told me oh god everything you've been doing is rubbish right and i remember how angry i was at people that i felt could have guided me mm-hmm. and never did and and these are people that i have i had access to in so, to some degree to say oh Egbon, this is what i'm doing and i did that so if these people were they is it that they didn't know <laughs> or were they, they just did they just intentionally lead me astray um and so i decided it was important to actually have people who knew the guys coming they could say you know what godwin opened the door for me mm-hmm. or godwin assisted or helped me um but what are the things that we are not doing outside collaboration <clears throat> so what are the things that we're not we're, we're failing to do so i feel like um in terms of it i don't think we're having these conversations enough yeah and then even when we have these conversations i don't think that we're doing following enough up. Uh, yeah we're, we're following up so there's neck live there's this there's that there's this workshop there's social media week and there's like one million conferences and so during social media week but after social media week what happens, what happens? Yeah. Yeah. people ask me why i don't you know do all these instagram live sessions or you know all these things because i don't i don't see the need to if we're not going to have these conversations and then follow up yeah the only thing the only the only um conference or workshop so to speak this is not to let allow your head swell that i've seen you know a start a continuation a process is the training school like your training school yeah do you get because i see how involved you are with all the guys who come in yeah do you get even the guys who i meet do you get who i've met rather there's a relationship that you know that continues after that yeah so i don't think that we're doing um we're just talking enough basically. we're just talking when we're not even talking enough yeah. and then when we talk we just talk and so ends about that there's something i want to start doing i'm i'm talking to chin okay, about yeah, it um and i've and i mentioned it to you as well where a lot of the students i've found work for them because after the training i try to mm-hmm. place them cool. and I've been in situations where I'm very unhappy with the way the people I've directed to others, mm-hmm. the way they've been treated, mm-hmm. yeah. right? And I feel like now is it probably a good time to start protecting them as well. So it's still, so it's still, it's still, it's still we're still, we're still part of the others. Yeah. Like, Asa could send someone who is trained to me, and I can mess up. Do you get? Yeah. Because I know some of those like those scenarios yeah. that you mentioned, and it's still people like us who yeah. feel. Or should know better yeah should know better or yeah. will do better yeah but then they still end up doing yeah you know even so worse. i mean what i want to do now is set up a i'm setting up a recruitment agency mm-hmm. and i think i mentioned yeah, that yeah, to yeah, you okay. and one one of the things we're doing is we're going to have we're going to be helping some of these students negotiate their employment contracts mm-hmm. right where we're saying okay at least this is a minimum fee yeah. right this is and if there's an issue you can communicate with us and you know we either we're the ones paying the 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 the, the staff mm-hmm. or you know mm-hmm. we find a way that we ensure there's some sort of transparency and, then vice and fairness as well yeah yeah you also have to put the same the same um you have to put the the, the kids in check not yes the kids, of yeah. course you have to put them in check they have to do the work do the work yeah they must do the work I agree. Yeah. I agree because even not doing the work is also an attack on me, yeah. mm-hmm. because I'm I'm sending. So I have to. It's mm-hmm. important, mm-hmm. right? So I think those are. So there's education. There's um, us following up, experience. Uh, giving yeah. people experience. Because I know a lot of people. Unfortunately, I'm one person, right? So I get a lot of messages. Somebody's like, "Oh God, when Tom, I want to intern with you." Everybody I emailed does not want to respond. Mm-hmm. Also, I try to explain that mm-hmm. people are busy. <laughs> you yeah. understand? So th- like, this, this, this is what I, I'm trying to do now. Yeah. Um, and it's worked with Good Girl and it's working with Artifier. So if you... People hit me up, even even from the training school, randomly, my DMs. So even if I don't respond to you, I wait till there's like a new artist who I feel mm. she gets, has some... or needs some form of direction. And I try to... I'm, I'm going to try, yeah. you know, to pair... And then just guide that relationship 
mm-hmm. get, so that might be another way yeah. you know to answer like all these um upcoming artists and yeah but the, 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 for me now i i think i'm stuck in a space where i've been training i think over Two thousand, three thousand people have gone through my workshops or training mm-hmm. programs. So, in terms of my actual training program, mm-hmm. I think I have about a hundred and something people that I have direct access to. So, when someone says I'm looking for work, I just put it in the group and say, "Here's an email. Send your CV in. This, this is what they're looking for. If you're interested, some people I already have work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, those those types of things help." has have helped which is why i can suggest people to to companies to say mm-hmm. okay look hire this person i know some people went with mi some people have gone with different companies so luckily so when people reach out to me what i usually say is i already have a pool and the only way i can actually also because we need to check we can't just mm-hmm. be sharing people so one of the ways i've done it is i've said to people mm-hmm. join my training program mm-hmm. that's the first step or the training program, program is too expensive buy my book right find a way to connect Mm -hmm. to me because i already have a pool of people so if i'm looking i'm looking at my pool first of all um so i think now it is how do we move forward how do we do better how what is what is next for sagi what's next for asa personally this lockdown pulled out my writing skills you understand Mm -hmm. and and this this ebook series i've put out has turned out to be a very i mean it's it's made money i've sold some books but the i won't lie i've made some money from it <laughs> but it's been fulfilling being able because i have three sessions after for every book yeah. so people join my join a zoom call private zoom call and they're able to ask me questions about the book and it's been fulfilling just seeing that people are actually I'm interested an mm-hmm. so education is something that i personally i'm taking a little more seriously um, but what's what's next for Asa? What's next for Zagi? Um, I mean, for, I tell people all the time. For me, Corona was a, <laughs> Corona was Corona was a blessing in disguise because the, there's so many other things that we wanted to do hmm. that we haven't been able to do because we're, we're moving around. Yeah, moving around. Like for example, when we got back to Lagos, when the Davis tour got postponed, the day I landed, the next day I was in a way. Because my hope at that point in time was that Corona would not hit Nigeria and would be business as usual here. For example, with the mainland block party is huge now. We, you know, we do the capital block party in Abuja. We do the island pop-ups. We had Major Laser at the one in Christmas. So we're trying to tour it. So we're trying to go to Ilori, Oweri, Badon. So with that, we've gotten all the business in check. It's an existing brand. The, brand's, the brand has grown. We have the brands who want to partner with these cities. It's just everything dies down. <coughs> Minus live and like shows, obviously we know we have a distribution arm now and like, we're involved in it, so we've grown that a lot. And there've been like tiny deals here and there, and tiny loopholes that I myself needed to sit and tidy up. It wasn't a thing where I could delegate them. Yeah. So I've done that. For example, I had an amazing meeting concerning that yesterday, so I know that that's been sorted. Um, everybody has this one. Their clients have been recording music. Yeah. So all, all my clients have their albums ready to go. So I know that that's good. Um, and then also it's been good because it's allowed, I think it's changed how music is consumed. Mm-hmm. Because prior to no, prior to the lockdown, you know, before everybody was, it was just typical 120 BPM, 118 BPM, the song would blow. Like, <laughs> but you can see a little... People are paying more attention to more, making it's music. R&B, mm-hmm. yeah. dark music, alternative music. So. And we can at least we can say that there have been two, three guys that Corona has really helped them. They mm. become the stars of Yeah. So it's helped. I mean I, I feel as if it's yes, it's been detrimental to some people because they their whole life is based on life, but it should have educated them that there are a million other things you Did can do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know some artists who thought that they're going to die once this thing happened, but they're still alive. Yeah. So uh yeah, so definitely once everything goes back, focus on life again obviously hopefully stuff is going to change um maybe the rules or how life happens will yeah. change but obviously digi- like it, everything is digital now so obviously focusing on our digital side more there are a few interesting things we, we wanted to do for ages but time yeah so we fine-tuned and like we're ready so in the next month or two a lot of stuff we've been working on will happen 
there are a few platforms are launching and things so good times hopefully good times what's next for me well i'm uh so i think corona mm. and this year has made me take you know a proper seat you know um in it like in the business part of everything yeah so i'm less involved with um artist development now because I, I i spent a lot of i spent a lot of time doing that i'm still involved with it but on a on a on a I think on a higher scale, I'm more, I'm more involved, mm. you know, with the business now. Um, I recently joined the team at One RPM, okay, um, a music business solutions company, um, US based, Emmanuel Zons, blah blah blah. So I'm handling the African operations. So for me, that's a big, it's a, it's, it's been a big step for me. Yeah, you know, I almost didn't take it. Like to, like actually, almost, I was like, I think if everything had gone according to how I planned it, I think. I would have been on my way out of Nigeria now. I was uh, actually going to uh, just <laughs> up and leave. <laughs> up and leave. Um, but then, yeah. Um, the Basement Gig, the Zone Agency, a few other projects. Um, everything is like, there's a lot that has just been in the works. And I think just being indoors at this time has given everyone, including myself, you get a, a lot more room to plan, to think through stuff without any of life's yeah. distractions. You know, make make certain decisions and then just move. And I I, I, I also yeah. think one of the things. I, sorry, yeah. one one thing that I'm actually really doing now, like now, like going forward, is collaborating. Okay. You get, we're having some conversations. Yeah. I'm having some conversations with Chin as well. Isa, we should see more often. We should see more. We should talk more often. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I have one of the things I wanted to mention as sort of like closing is I know that people were panicking around corona some people felt like they were not doing anything with their lives for some of us we were just happy that for the first month we were able to just stop now, the first month was you, the holiday. you know that's how we we're just able to stop, stop. no I, people were telling me things i was i remember i posted something that period where people were like you should take this time to learn something you should take this like for some people it's just the ability to sleep Right to just go to sleep and know that tomorrow nobody is going to wake me up at six in the morning to do anything. Nobody's calling me at three. Nobody's. It's never about anybody waking you up. It's about your brain. Yeah. Waking you up. Exactly. To see, you know. So those. I think we get to that point where mm-hmm. people forget about their mental health, and just like when I told Isa, oh Isa, there's going to be pizza. Isa was like, I'm not eating pizza. I was like, What do you mean you're not eating pizza? He's like, I'm not eating pizza. I said, Why? He said, I'm on a diet. Say, <laughs> you know, no so you know, the, the, the if, if there's no corona, it's no, no, he's been doing it before. The yeah. thing is, for me, mm-hmm. like when I'm on road, it's hard to be on diet and a diet, so yeah. Like, it's hard to say, Oh, I'm not eating, I'm not, you eat what you find, you get yeah. what you find. Mm-hmm. So, like, t- I wanted to do it for a while. Like, I felt as if I had put on a little blog, and I was like, not even weight wise, like just health wise, yeah. Like, I'm testing a few weeks, so for me, I'm like, I'm not getting any younger. I need to start arranging myself so that <laughs> I can last longer. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, you guys, um, what would what if you had to give one advice sure. to younger guys? This is for the younger guys um, so, or people interested in the business. If you had to give one advice about the business, one thing that is that stands out that you've learned, what would that be? I know this sounds like a cliche interview mm. thing. What was your last word? For me. For people to actually realize that, I, I, I'm assuming that people are going straight into the business. To actually realize that it's not fun and games; it's actually a business. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you're choosing to come in in a road that is basically the most important business road. Yeah. So it's work. Yeah, it works. It's fun and games. Like yeah, the perks, the perks to, to working it. in this industry. But you earn them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You earn them, and then secondly, do not put yourself under pressure. Yeah. Under any unnecessary pressure. I know that I've. Like I'm one per like I'm one person who's who's been through, you know, blaming myself for a lot. Like when things you get go to shit, like you pretty much just you, you forget about everybody else's yeah. role. You forget that oh this pre- the artist had to do this, maybe the label had to do this. You had to do you get everybody had roles to play. Yeah. You have to remember like not to put yourself under so much pressure. Yes, you must deliver, you get, but don't kill yourself yeah. at anyone else's expense. Fantastic. Don't, don't, don't forget to be you. Don't Fantastic. Live your life. 
the whole point of the podcast is i i didn't want to create something that was too formal and too serious i just felt like look at this this these podcasts are going to happen in restaurants they're gonna happen in gardens they're gonna it's just where would i go to chill and have conversations with my guys that's pretty much what this is about i'm glad you guys could make it i know isa is busy i've even dragged past the time he was supposed to be here um but you know thanks so much guys i appreciate it nice one